Slicing is a number of functions that help you work with time and date information and prepare it for analysis. I'm going to add a new custom field and just convert it to date and time and then we'll start working with some of the functions. On the top right we have the date time functions and they fall under one of four categories. You can either add time, you can extract time, you can work out the difference between two time points or you can actually create your own date. Lastly, you can also get the current time. Let's do a few examples. Let's say to begin with, we can see that we have a field for admission time and discharge time. One of the things I might want to do is to actually extract the quarter. So I can just use a syntax of get quarter, select the actual field that I'm interested in, in this case admission time, and I can preview the data. What you'll see is that it's actually extracting the quarter from the admission time. I can also do this for a year, for month, for day, for hour, and so forth. Another thing that I might want to do is actually change the time. I might have to make some adjustment to it. So again, let's take admission time, and in this case, let's use our add years function. So I can click on add years, select the field that I'm interested in, again, admission time, and I'm going to add an additional year to the, the admission time. So as you can see now, the original admission time was 2012, and the new field is showing 2013. I could also do a previous year. So if I put in minus one and show the result set, again, we see the original year is 20 year, 2012, and the new field is 2011. Another date time function that we have takes the difference between two points in time. So for instance, I can extract, I can do the day difference between two specific days that I'm interested in working with. So I'll select day diff. Oh, let me start, start again. So we can choose day diff. And now I can choose two points in time. So the first point I'm interested in is the discharge time. And I'm going to do the difference between that and the admission time. And again, I can preview the results. And I can see the number of days that a particular patient was in the hospital. The last element that I can do is to actually create a date. So sometimes you might want to create a date. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to combine a few functions together to do it. Well, let's do something simple at first. So I'm just going to create a date. So let's do 2014, 12, 12. And I see the result, it's actually creating a date timestamp for that. I can also use and combine various functions to do it. So instead of actually specifying a year, I can extract the year from an existing date field and use that as the basis. So over here, for each of the admission times, I'm getting a different date and it's updating the new field accordingly. So as you can see, date time fields are very easy to work with. There's a number of functions to extract date or time information to add or adjust time information or to do comparisons between two points in time.